Welcome to an in-development video of S3, and uh, I've pretty much got a uh, empty level here, there's a hut here as well. The model's from the asset store, it's a free model, and it's very nice too, and same for the gun models. So I've got a gun system working, and it's pretty good just working through uh, any bugs at the moment. And so for example, I can pick up a weapon like this pistol here, and use it, I can shoot, uh, I can reload, um, I can throw it as well. And uh, just as a note, uh, so I'm using continuous dynamic on the rigid body for the collision detection. So just a note for yourself if you aren't aware. It's by default on discrete. And if you don't want important things to, well, not have a high chance of falling through the floor of the level, make sure to set it to something like continuous dynamic. So that way the hit detection is continuous. It's a bit more expensive, but it's important for important stuff. Uh, okay, so I can switch weapons as you just saw and different weapons, slightly different behavior. It's all off the, based off the same gun system. I can throw that as well. I can shoot the gun as well too. Don't know why I'm doing that, but oh well. I can throw that too. I can pick it up, change to that. And reload, pick up this one too. And anyway, you get the idea. And you, you can see that there's a dynamic crosshair as well. The crosshair widens as I'm walking. If I start sprinting, it widens even more. And uh, the shooting spray is actually uh, becomes wider uh, as per the dynamic crosshair. So it is actually doing something. It is actually uh, representing uh, the randomness in the shooting. Okay, all right, so, <laughs> sorry. So I think that's probably quite enough. Uh, that's pretty much it, that's the gun system. So let me show you a little bit of how it looks underneath. Uh, so for example, I've got my prefabs here, the guns. If I click on this gun here, uh, you'll be able to see that it consists of lots and lots of scripts. Uh, well, what I've tried to achieve here is a much more modular system. So the scripts do very specific actions. They carry out specific tasks. And I'm using, um, I guess I've, my system, the way I'm doing it is I like, I have a master script and that master script then has a require component and all these other scripts it requires. And then it has lots of events inside of it. So I guess, uh, why don't I show you what it looks like? So, uh, here's the gun master script as an example. And uh, it has all these other scripts and components it calls up on. And you can see I'm making use of uh, lots of C-sharp events. And this is what allows me to have, a, I guess, a lot more sort of modular system. I can change, I can introduce new behaviors, and then uh, subscribe to a particular event if the existing ones are sufficient, or I can create a new event for new behaviors. And it's been working pretty well, actually, with this many uh, events. I have a full gun system and many scripts subscribing uh, their functions to these events, and they get run. So for example, uh, let's say if I have a uh, call event player input. So first of all, where is that called? Right, I have this script called gun standard input. And in that, uh, if the player uh, is actually shooting, so if they press their attack button and this condition is satisfied, then that event will get called. When that event gets called, uh, well, this function, public function gets called, then this event is called. And I can then see what scripts go ahead and subscribe to uh, that event. Uh, so for example, I can go to the ammo script and I can see that the ammo script uh, is subscribing as has this deduct ammo function and also this check ammo status a function subscribe to that. And uh, that's basically how it works. It's a pretty, pretty robust system. It's pretty easy to de debug as well. It's still uh, understandable. So it's not so modular and so abstract that it's becomes extremely hard to understand what is talking to what because the system that I have is there's one master script with all the events in it and then all the other scripts they go and subscribe to that master scripts events and then based off actions that happens the event is called and then these other scripts then have their functions uh, carry out uh, work 
when that event is called and it's very convenient that way I can have different scripts all do different things and they're all subscribed to the same event so it all happens at the same time or almost the same time and each one is independent of the other I can change one bit of behavior like for example I can change the ammo behavior and it'll have no effect on the animate or muzzle flash or sounds uh, or the shoot script at all so that's the good part of it but anyway so I will I'll explain all of that of course in the s3 tutorial series when I get to that so when is it probably end of the year so got a bit more work to do I want to implement uh, basically uh, zombies and which is of course is the simplest form of AI uh, I think that I can imagine uh, and so that's what I have to implement next and I think after that uh, I'll have pretty much the structure, the um, the project, uh, it's sufficient content for actually uh, covering a lot of the API and, well, not a lot, but a fair bit, and introducing people uh, into, I guess, this sort of game development as well. And it is pretty useful, like the stuff that I'm covering is going to be quite useful actually because you can use it for a broad range of things not just for a gun system but uh, for all sorts of behaviors like car behavior aircraft whatever even the player controller you can use it for other stuff like i'm using it for the inventory as well it works very well um and uh, I'm, i'll be actually using this shortly once i have the ai developed as well this is going to make its way into my current uh, game which is called weak and drive and uh, all these systems will be there too because i'll have weapons and uh, a basic zombie ai as well and it'll, it'll fit in quite nicely so i think when the s3 project is done and i've made the uh, made the tutorials for it i think it will actually be quite a good series it, it will be single player it's not multiplayer this time and i guess because i'm not focusing on the multiplayer that's why i'm able to now focus on all these other things that i've never uh, showed before like you know all this reloading business and the uh, basic gun animations and throwing it and having a really basic inventory as well all right anyway that's it for this video uh stay tuned and uh, i hope to have i guess future update videos uh in some time all right thank you